To start using the new dynamic brush, select the object, press S to add a sculpt layer and turn on the dynamic option. Select the move brush, but you can use any brush available, and start editing the mesh. You can change the number of the sub-steps to improve the quality of the simulation. And since we're using Sculpture, of course our poses can be animated in time. By default, the dynamics affect the whole mesh. We can use the brush sides multiplier option to limit the action to the brush sides. The sides multiplier option will let us multiply the brush sides by a percentage. The dynamic simulation is normally using the rest pose of the model. If we check a rest pose update, the rest pose will be constantly updated. We can set the rest pose we want to use using the set rest pose button. In this case, I'm resetting the mesh shape to its initial state. And I'm using set rest pose to make that pose the one that will be used by the dynamics. The smooth brush is normally affected by dynamics. The ignore smooth option will let us use the smooth brush without the dynamics affecting it.